Patients with early stage breast cancer could be offered a new type of radiotherapy in a single dose rather than as a course of treatments. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence is expected to recommend the new approach. It's thought up to 36,000 people could benefit from the therapy, which would also save the NHS money. Well, with me now is Jan Vaidya, who is the Professor of Surgery and Oncology at University College in London. Uh, you, uh, did you invent this? Well, with, along with Professor Michael Baum and uh, Professor Jeffrey Tobias, yes, three of us uh, did this in 1998. The first case was done almost 14 years ago to the date, yeah. So just explain what, what it is that, that this thing does. Okay, what we, we have is a uh, machine which is about that size. It generates x-rays. And these x-rays are accelerated through a thin tube, which is at the center of a spherical applicator. Now, this spherical applicator is of different sizes, depending on the size of the tumor bed, size of the tumor itself. So after I have excised the tumor in the breast, you in put in this spherical applicator inside where the tumor was and keep it in place meticulously to make sure it's in the right place. So when you switch on the machine, it emits x-rays. These target the tissues which are at the highest risk of local recurrence. So, uh, so this is all during, during the surgery, the and of yes. course this means that for, for the patient, weeks of repeat radiotherapy, the traditional yes. treatment through the skin, that's not necessary. No. So this is from given within the breast, and we tested in 3,500 patients whether this is equal to standard treatment, and we found that yes, it does. Uh, the difference is not statistically significant in terms of breast cancer control, and surprisingly we found that the number of deaths from other causes are fewer. So you say you're thing. surprised. I mean, th th this is remarkable, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It is a good news. Yeah. Well, it's rather fabulous to be talking about good news, isn't it? Yes. it in terms of the, the women that benefit from this, will this be true for all breast cancer patients? No, they should be selected patients. So they should be patients 45 years of older or tumor size about three and a half cent up to three and a half centimeters and good prognosis cancers, ERPR positive. Um, and, but it is, that does cover a large proportion of patients who are having lumpectomy. In fact, for other patients, we are now started the target B trial, which is for higher risk patients, where we believe that giving this at the right time at the right place, in addition to the whole breast, would improve outcomes from breast cancer. Now this, the outcomes from cancer are the same. So, but it's a bit uh, greatly convenient and uh, less stressful for the patient. With other treatment, we expect it to improve outcomes, which is the trial is ongoing. This trial is completed. We can roll it out to those selected patients now. Is there any downside to this? Well, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be. We need to get the equipment in the hospital. It is now, there are 200 centers around the world who have it. We should soon, soon have it now that uh, we've got this green signal, as it's in draft at present. But Money is always at the centre of many discussions within the NHS and yeah. at hospitals, but presumably this, this in the long run saves the NHS. Oh yeah, within about two to three years, it will recuperate the cost of the machinery if you treat about 100 patients. And this is a, a new treatment which normally would have cost more money, but this is a thing that, that costs less money to the yeah. NHS and the taxpayer. Any woman recently diagnosed watching you right now is going to say, can I have it, and if I can, when? So Well, it is, I'm, I'm getting requests for this all the time, and we're trying to make sure it happens. What is going to facilitate after this guidance is that we should, trusts are going to have the positive go-ahead almost to get this and do it. Uh, because uh, even in these austerity times, it will actually save money to the people who pay the bill. Yeah. You're excited about this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's waited for a long time. It started in 98. Yeah. Well, many congratulations. Thank you. And wish Thank it well with, the, with all the work with it. Professor Jan Fajer, thank you. Thank you very much.